Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and doing good. Children, still many students are not sending their assignments regularly. And those students who are sending their assignments but not mentioning their name, class, section and assignment number, I request to them, kindly always mention your name, class, section and assignment number on the top of the page. And children, I have done mail to the students who didn't submit their assignments from 16th assignment onwards. Kindly check your mailbox and send the complete book and notebook work of that given assignment as soon as possible. Okay children, now in this video we will revise lesson 7 a year and we will continue with exercise. So children, let's start now. Children, open the book at page number 55. Children, we have learned that air is present all around us. We cannot see the air but we can feel it. Air is always moving and has no smell. Children, we have also learned that we need air for breathing. We cannot live without air. We can fill the air in balloons, football, cycle tubes, etc. Children, plants and animals also need air to live. Children, we have also learned that fast moving air is called wind. And children, a slow and gentle moving air is called breeze. In properties of air, we have learned air has weight, air occupies space and air expands on heating. These are three properties of air. Children, open the book at page number 57. Air pollution. Children, in previous video, we have already learned about air pollution. So what is air pollution? The presence of unwanted harmful substances in the air is termed as air pollution. Pollution is the mixing of smoke, dust and germs with the air. Children, now let's revise the some major causes of air pollution. So number one major cause of air pollution, smoke released from vehicles. So children, next major cause of air pollution, Smoke released from factory. Children, next cause is dust released when houses and roads are built. Next cause is smoke from bursting of crackers. Next cause is smoke released from burning of waste. Now children, open the book at page number 58. Children, next is ways to reduce air pollution. We have already learned that air pollution is harmful for all of us. It causes many breathing problems, irritation in eyes, skin problems, infection of lungs and throats. Polluted air also affects the health of animals. Therefore, it is very important to reduce air pollution. Children, now let us revise some of the ways by which we can reduce air pollution. Number 1. Plant more and more trees in the surroundings. Next is Use public transport to travel from one place to another. Next is do not burst crackers. Next is do not burn waste. Children, next is walk or use bicycles or going to nearby places. Children, next is airborne diseases. Germs present in the air spread many diseases. The diseases that spread through air are called airborne diseases. So children, Breathing in impure air is not good for our health and can make us sick. Hence, we should always breathe clean and fresh air. Children, in most of the cases, airborne diseases are contracted when someone breathes in infected air. Means, if someone is going to inhale the infected air, they are going to contract the airborne diseases. Some common airborne diseases are COVID-19 or coronavirus, common cold, mumps, measles and chickenpox. Now children, to prevent these diseases, we should take care of the following things. Number one, we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze. Next is, we should wash our hands regularly. Children, next is, we should cover our mouth with a mask while going out. Children, take out your avia sphere notebook. First, you will mention your name, class, section, write 28th assignment, mention the date here, write lesson 7, h.w. 
in the next line write the lesson name here question number 5 children we have already done question number 1 2 3 4 and 26 and 27th video now here you will write question number 5 write two ways to prevent spread of airborne diseases you have to write the two ways to prevent spread of airborne diseases in next line you will write a and s dot answer the two ways to prevent spread of airborne diseases are a we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze so children we should cover our mouth when we cough or sneeze b we should wash our hands regularly so we should wash our hands regularly now come to the next question question number 6 q u e dot 6 write any two causes of air pollution you have to write the two causes of air pollution now children turn the page so children the two causes of air pollution here you will write a and s dot answer the two causes of air pollution are a smoke released from vehicles and factories smoke that released from vehicles and factories causes air pollution b smoke released from bursting of crackers smoke released from bursting of crackers also causes air pollution done children now children open the book at page number 58 here you will mention the date write 28th assignment your name class section now come to the question fill in the blanks you have to fill up these blanks number 1 cars and factories produce yes children tell me cars and factories produce very good children smoke cars and factories produce smoke here we will write smoke spelling of smoke s m o k e smoke done children number 2 bursting of crackers cause yes children tell me bursting of crackers cause very good pollution burst Number two, bursting of crackers cause. Yes, children, tell me bursting of crackers cause. Very good, children. Air pollution. Here we will write air pollution. A I R A R P O W L U T I O N. Pollution. So, children, bursting of crackers cause air pollution. Done. Now come to the next number three. We should plant more and more dash to reduce air pollution. So we should plant more and more trees. T R W E S trees to reduce air pollution. Done, children. So children, in this video we have revised properties of air. air pollution ways to reduce air pollution and airborne diseases so children you have to do the same work as i have done in the evs sphere notebook send your assignments on given time so children will see you in next video till then take care thank you